Hi everyone. In this lesson, we are going to add a note to our C chord. And we're going to also learn about a new note value called a whole note. So I've got my baritone ukulele today. Uh, it's just tuned to the open strings, E, B, G, and D, no capo. If you have a guitar, put the capo on the second fret and tune to those same strings. So when we learned that C chord before, that was actually a partial chord. It wasn't the full chord. So now we're going to just simply add our middle finger or second finger to 4-2 and that's going to be our full C chord. So play those one note at a time. Make sure we get all four strings to sound. So for the baritone ukulele, this is your full C chord. The guitar players will have one more string to add down the road when we add strings 5 and 6 to the guitars. Okay, so that fourth string, second fret, that is an E note. So the notes in that C chord are E, G for the third string, C on the second string, and an E open on the first string. Okay, now that we've learned this chord, we have to learn how to switch with the other chords that we already know. So we'll start with the G7 first. And basically, as a beginning player, you are going to change chords mostly in a two-step process. So for instance, from the G7, you're going to move the first finger to the second string, first fret, and then the second move is you're going to add that middle finger. So with practice though, and what your goal is going to be is that you'll be able to move them both simultaneously. That'll make for quicker chord changes so you won't have any pauses between measures. So practice going back and forth. Uh, make sure you hear all four strings. Cut your fingernails if you need to. For the chord strum, we're going to learn that new note value called the whole note. And it looks like a lowercase o gets four counts. So it's a long note. So here's our whole note. It gets four counts. And you can see how it compares with the half note, which gets two each, and the quarter notes, which get one each. So we're going to play, so we're going to play whole note strum, two measures of G7 two measures of the full C, and then we'll repeat it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, switch. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, switch. G7, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, C. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then let's do the G to the C again. No real good shortcuts as before. On counts three or four, we're going to get that first finger in position to get ready for that C. And we'll drop it down, and then we'll add the middle finger to the fourth string. Okay, and then going back is not too bad. You just kind of get that third finger in position, drop it down as you're lifting those other two fingers off. So we'll do the same thing. Whole note strum, two measures of G, two measures of C, and we'll repeat it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, C. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, back to G. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, C. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now with your full C chord, you have the whole note. I want you to go back to video G015, which is the songs that we play that medley. And this time I want you to play with the full C chord, and in some of the songs you can just do whole note strum. Mix it in. Some do uh, half note strum, some do quarter note strum. So now you have three different patterns you can pick as a guitarist, so that's pretty cool. You're getting some control here. Okay, keep up with your daily warm-up exercises. Try and memorize uh, Mary Had a Little Lamb. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.